My name is Tara Smiley Evans, and I am research faculty at the University of California, Davis. Um, and I am a wildlife veterinarian and an infectious disease epidemiologist. So I am, of course, going to talk to us, to everyone here today, about safety regarding infectious diseases for, for non human primates. Um, I have worked in Myanmar for the past five years. Uh, together in collaboration with Nature Conservation Society Myanmar um, and the Wildlife Health Ministries, as well as the Human um, Health uh, Research Ministries in Myanmar to investigate zoonotic disease transmission in, in wildlife hunting communities. Um, so that's been a very exciting project that has um, allowed me to get to know a lot of different groups working in Myanmar. And now I'm very excited to be a part of this Skywalker Gibbon collaboration uh, to do surveys um, for the Skywalker Gibbon. So I will go ahead here and share my screen. Let me do a brief Burmese introduction for okay, you, Dira. Uh, Dr. Dira Smiley Evans, wa Samaro Nima Bima Janone Dudua or Lonia or Janone do NCS Ne to do Jano Wildlife Survey Lonia Aku. Five year project Shibari, uh, Shibari, uh, do wildlife veterinary, uh, vet bar, your epidemiologist bar, your to know lonely in project are zoonotic disease bar, no, or the wildlife gunny, do you gula nine, virus de jam lila project bar, a guaro skywalker, uh, keeping project go, or UC Davis bagani, do some video be my provide. Thank you. Okay, so first I'm gonna to talk to us all about safety regarding collecting biological specimens. Um, and I can tell you firsthand, um, I've done most of my um, academic research with non-human primates, mostly in Africa and the last five years in Myanmar. And so I spend a lot of time in the field and, and I know firsthand how easy it is to forget um, the samples that you're working with and that, that they can potentially um, be harmful to people. So, so I always like to start every new project with a reminder and a safety refresher for everyone who's going to be working in the field um, about the importance of working with these kinds of samples. The sample culture safety precaution you know, our non human primate in Africa, my load in the Mapi Male, the wildlife project, the Lola Jaiwa. A digger, the uh, Siamma or the Baupan slide, the Uet Jacaro, the Sambolic Kane Kaja, the Sambolia, the old wheel, or Doka Pina Nesua, me that Jai Bono, me that me that Jai do the work, the project to Kusai, and yeah, a reminder refresher, and in it. The safety precaution they will be after buying. So, because non human primates are so close to us, um, they're the closest animal taxa we have to humans, we share many of the exact same diseases. So, some of the common diseases that we think about in people, we also find in non human primates. Um, so, whenever you're handling a primate specimen, we have to be concerned about diseases like measles, tuberculosis, respiratory pathogens, um, enteric pathogens like Shigella, Giardia, Campylobacter, Cryptosporidium. And very importantly for primates in Asia, particularly macaque species, is a pathogen called herpes B. It's carried by macaques, it causes very little harm in the macaques. It just causes a simple cold sore usually in them, but it can be rapidly fatal in humans. So it's, it's one of the most important diseases we think about when we, we're, whenever you're handling um, primate specimens, particularly from macaque species. The uh, primate yeah, sent to a sent to a bono, the biology, yeah, sent to a to Doma, genoma, pete yoga, ya, doma, le pete, doma, pete yoga, le genoma, pinine. And I don't know, 
ဟိုတိုးမှာဖြစ်တဲ့ရောဂိုင်တွေရဲ့ခါကြရင်မြောက်တွေ့ကိုင်တွေရဲ့ခါကြရင်ဗလိထားမယ်ရောဂိုင်
flushing your eyes, flushing that, that, that area with water for the 10 minutes will be very important. Um, if it's something in your eyes, irrigating with clean water or saline or eye wash. Um, and then if particularly if your, your injury has come from a macaque species, when you get back from the field, you wanna go see your doctor and tell them what happens and, and that you had had an, an injury from specifically a macaque species, because again, we worry about the, that herpes B potential for infection. ဒီထိုးဒီစုရှားအရာဝတ္ထုတို့နဲ့ထိုးမိရတော့ချက်မိရတော့အကောင်းကိုက်ခံရတော့မြန်လုံးတဲ့စင်တာကိုဆိုရ
So the first thing to think about is whenever you're encountering a sample, whether that's a fecal sample or a chewed plant sample or a, a carcass sample, is proper handling and trying to avoid ever directly contacting the sample with your fingers or your hands. And this is because you, even on your fingertips, little, little pieces of DNA of yourself can get into that sample. And then when we go into the lab to molecularly identify what's there, we could identify you instead of the Skywalker, which would, would confuse our studies. So we wanna make sure that you're always wearing gloves, um, if, you, if you're not using gloves, but you're picking up a sample that you're using a disposable stick um, and never using your bare hands. ยินซอสแซมเปิลกอกเตอร์ค่ะจ้ะเอ๊ะติชาคอนเนชั่นเมเปิลมอสซอนเช็คการ์ดอ่ะดีแซมเปิลลิโอติชาซาไกด์ด
Um, and whenever you're pipetting this, this reagent, so may, when you're, you're aliquoting it into individual tubes for your, for your sample collection, um, try to avoid aerosolizing it as much as, can, as you can by being slow and steady with your pipetting. Um, so don't squirt it all out into the bottom of the tube where it can splash or, or produce a lot of aerosols. Um, try to pipette it very slowly and smoothly. ဒီဒီအနီအာနေရှိဘူးကအစိတ်တောက်ရန်ဖြစ်ပါတယ်အပါးပေါ်ထင်အပါးရေလောင်းတယ်အပါးရေစာပါတယ်ရှူရှို
And one other thing to keep in mind when you're collecting samples in the field is that sunlight is also very damaging to pathogens and, and viruses and, and DNA and things we may be looking for in the sample. So trying to avoid direct exposure of the sample once you've collected it and keeping it in a shady spot whenever possible. So so when you're ready to do your sampling and you've, you've identified a, a great sample in the field, um, uh, the first step is gonna be proper tube labeling and making sure that you have all the proper data either on the tube itself or on a data sheet. Um, so we wanna know things like the individual ID, if known, if you're working in a semi-habituated group um, where individual animals are known, the species, if known, um, and that can be broad as, as, as detailed as you can get it. So if you, you just know it is a given, write that down, um, or langur macaque, um, but as much detail as you can. Um, the date, the location, the sample type, um, the media that it's in, we're gonna be using several different types of media. Um, the GPS coordinates need to be going onto the data sheet um, and the IUCN habitat classification of the location where you sampled it at needs to go on the data sheet. ပါလိမ့်မယ်အဲ့ဒီကလို့ဒီမြောက်တွေတွေအင်ဒီဗီဂျွယ်အိုင်ဒီရှိအင်ဒီဗီဂျွယ်အိုင်ဒီထည့်
ဒီအကောင်တေးတွေ့ရင်ကြတော့အာနေရာအစုံကနေဆန်ပုံယူယူပါမယ်အဲ့ဒီအာဒရိုင်းဖာဆိုရင်တော့ဥပမာဒရိ
ซาทายไก่ทายสวามีทายยินทายสัมปองโกยูบุโลบาเมตามะจวดโตตะชาก่อไก่ทายสัมปองมะเพียวอ่าอธิกาเปปายานิยูทามะสวดโตไก่ท
ဟုတ်ငေတရွတ်တွေတခြားကတ်နေရာရောမရှိဖို့လိုအပ်တယ်အဲတကယ်လို့အကောင်ဖော်ပြီးသားဆိုရင်တော့အဲအတွင်းပ
Bong Ning de Mao, she ma pioke, hai mao, so in me like tie, yozu, a uno cone, do a kama, the sample you do ya by. The sample musa or the virus, the by your shape, yama, a domu in me, the DNA sitting yamaro, a domu by the yellow ye go to ya so in. The bedding as the seats are oh, or to no tape like that. The car don't break down in a in a chubby you log in a the yoe or no cone to a car giant and nearly chubby or you log every bar to no who shame up ya a bono bear alone or alone bait mahote a pamphlet day or tete man a diga the sample leo or chow to his. เจนยามาสัตว์ดีท้าเจนจันโอบาโอ้โซโซไทม์ไม่มุ่งมาชี้เจนมาอูอาจารย์คุณน่าพิจารณาเวทเซ็กเก็ตโลเอเนทเทม